All right, Flamingo Las Vegas, this place is legendary. It may be one of the older Las Vegas hotels, but I'm told it's one of the more awesome Las Vegas hotels. The pool scene is mythical. It has one of the hottest new restaurants, and overall, the place is just a fan favorite. This is Coolest Luxury Hotels, the Flamingo, Las Vegas. No time to waste in this video. Let's get right into it. I'm going to get the room out of the way. Uh, this is a Go Deluxe room. This is an entry level room here. It's the cheapest room I could get when I was booking. Although this property is a tad on the older side, this room does have some modern touches. If you wanna know all about the room, check the description below. I did a dedicated room tour. So let me quarterback the first two nights of this trip. Right now, tonight, I'm headed down to Carlos and Charlie's. It is supposed to be a spring break Mexican place. Good food, good drinks, I'm in. Tomorrow is gonna be the big day. Uh, I'm headed down to the Flamingo Pool as soon as I can. I can't wait to check that out. And then tomorrow night, I'm gonna go to the best restaurant on site, Bugsy and Myers. After that, who knows what could happen. More food, more drinks, some gambling, more fun, more everything. This is the Flamingo Las Vegas. I'm so excited to be here. So Carlos and Charlie's was all about the fun. Unfortunately, it was not about the food, but it was all about the fun. Certainly it was a spring break type atmosphere. In fact, it nailed it. Cool lighting, great energy, stuff hanging from the ceiling. It was a really fun place to hang out. The Caribbean drinks were tremendous. I had a big mama margarita. That thing will put you in your seat, literally. And then I had a ticket to fly, and that thing will definitely put you on launch because it was a pina colada with four different types of alcohol. Overall, it was a fun and festive place to hang out, but if you're going for the food, you're gonna be disappointed. You've been warned. All right, today is my big day, and it starts at the Flamingo Pool. I am not playing around tonight. I'm so looking forward to dinner at Bugsy Myers. Before I get to that, let me talk about the Flamingo Pool. I think that the Flamingo Pool might be the best standard pool in Las Vegas. Now, let me clarify that just a little bit. I still think that Stadium Swim is the best pool in Las Vegas. However, there's nothing standard about Stadium Swim. It is a hybrid and in a league of its own. Secondarily, you know how I feel about the Encore 21 Plus European Pool. However, that is not the standard pool. That is an ancillary pool. The standard Encore Pool is beautiful yet boring. Uh, the Flamingo Pool is anything but boring. It is exceptional. Um, it is gorgeous, it is tropical, I love its character. It's just not your standard blob of a Las Vegas pool. It has some shape, it has some personality. Uh, the crowd is fantastic, not a kid in sight. The DJ is phenomenal, great track list, and the bartenders know how to make a proper drink. If you're coming to Las Vegas and you're all about the pool scene, you gotta come to Flamingo. I think it could be the best pool in Las Vegas.
All right, good morning. It's not morning, it's afternoon. Bit of a slow start to my day. Before I tell you where I'm going, I do need to tell you where I've been. Bugsy and Myers from last night. I definitely, definitely have some thoughts. It was a $300 dinner. I'll probably have to make a standalone video on it because there's so much to talk about. Um, it really does evoke the spirit and experience of the Flamingo. The Flamingo has a very rich history and a very interesting history. And Bugsy and Myers really embraces that and puts it in the fabric of their DNA. Uh, they have lots of different areas to sit depending on your mood. Uh, there's bar seating, lounge seating, there's some dining in the back. And it's also very approachable yet still upscale at the same time. My favorite drink in the night was the make your own old fashioned. You get to choose the bourbon, the bitters, the syrup. They bring it table side and they smoke it right in front of you. Does it get any better than that? And then I went big on my steak. I went with the 60 day dry aged ribeye and that thing was a flavor explosion. It was bursting with flavor. It was even better this morning for breakfast than it was last night for dinner. Again, there's so much to talk about. Be on the lookout for that future video if you want to know more about my dinner at Bugsy and Myers. All right, so let's get this day started. I'm feeling lucky. Let's head down to the high stakes slots. You know, slots are really all about feel. That's all you have to work with is how you feel because there's no skill. And really, once you put your money in, your outcome is predetermined. Uh, I was not feeling the Flamingo high stakes slot room at all. It is small, it is cramped. There weren't that many machines in there and I kind of got a sterile clinical type of vibe from it. However, I'll tell you what I was feeling and that was the pink diamond slot machine that I saw immediately. If you remember, this machine is my biggest win ever across the street over at Bally's and the second I saw it, I beelined towards it like a moth to a flame. I didn't care who played it last, I didn't care what it paid out last, I just went to the machine immediately and put my money in. Uh, that was a mistake because I did not win one spin. Not one. Typically, you at least win a credit or two. I did not win one spin. It was 20 straight failures of slot play. Now, I will say about halfway through my slot adventure, I did almost hit the jackpot, like almost, just off by a little, little bit. And I know that a miss is a miss, but still, I hit it when they dangle that jackpot in front of you ever so slightly. Anyway, 90 seconds later, my slot session was over. It was my quickest slot session of this trip. And it's pretty safe to say, I don't think I will ever be back to the Flamingo high stakes slot room. It is my last evening here and I wanna do something really fun. So what I'm planning on doing is heading over to Margaritaville. Um, I just got back from their Putacana location and I thoroughly enjoyed it. I'm thinking the Vegas one has to be even better, right? It's the Las Vegas Margaritaville. I'm hoping it's gonna be a good time. I'm gonna head over there and check it out. So Margaritaville was my favorite place to eat at at the Flamingo. Now I'm not saying it was my best meal, and it certainly was not the most extravagant, but it was by far the most fun. From its really cool, quirky, aquatic theme and ambiance to its vibrant food and drink menu, Margaritaville is the place you wanna let loose and have a great time. My favorite drink of the night was the Bomb Pop Shot. That was a slice of my childhood in adult form. And then that double cheeseburger was unforgettable. That thing was nearly a pound. If you're looking to stay on site at the Flamingo and eat at the coolest establishment, it is by far Margaritaville. So if you come into the Flamingo, I'm gonna give you three positives, three negatives. I'm gonna tell you who this property is for and then I'm gonna give it a score. Okay, number one, this property is a Las Vegas icon. It is legendary. The history here is deep and rich. Uh, if you were looking for one of the most intriguing backstories of a hotel, you absolutely need to stay here at the Flamingo. There is so much cool nostalgia and backstory to this property. Just coming here for its history is a reason on its own. Number two, the pool. The pool uh, might be the best reason to come to the Flamingo. It is amazing. I think it could possibly be the best standard Las Vegas pool uh, from its tropical type environment to its organically fun and energetic crowd. The Flamingo pool is where you wanna come if you wanna have one of the best times ever during the day in Las Vegas. And the third big reason to stay at the Flamingo is the location. It is one of the best locations in Las Vegas. It's right across from iconic Caesars Palace, which is pretty much center strip. And then of course you have all the other Caesars hotels right next to it. Planet Hollywood, Paris, Bally's, Cromwell, Harris, and Link. 
all surrounding, all close. If you want one of the best locations in all of Las Vegas, you really have to stay here at the Flamingo. So those are three tremendous reasons to stay at the Flamingo, but what about the counter argument? Why should you avoid this property? Number one, it is small. Again, it is one of the older Las Vegas properties and just wasn't built to modern size and scale. So if you do like those larger, uh, more grand Vegas properties, this probably isn't gonna be the venue for you. Building on that, number two, there's a major lack of dining. There's only one upper echelon establishment, Bugsy and Myers, and just a couple casual places to eat. If you like to eat where you stay, you're gonna run out of options very quickly here at the Flamingo. All right, building on that, number three, most surprisingly, uh, there is a huge shortage of bars and lounges here. Now, there are a couple bars, but those are casino bars. Those really don't count. Uh, in terms of standalone bars, there really aren't hardly any at all. If you like your cocktail lounges or even just a lobby bar, you're gonna be majorly disappointed here at the Flamingo. Okay, so finishing up, who is this hotel for? Number one, this is a weekend hotel. It's the perfect weekend hotel because it is small, because it is cool, because it has some of the best energy I've ever seen at any Vegas property. This is the perfect place to stay over a weekend. Uh, number two, this is pretty much an adults only hotel. Now it isn't an enforced adults only hotel. Anybody can stay here. But I think I saw like a handful of kids pretty much over the course of the entire week. There are hardly any kids here at all. I think that's because there just isn't a lot to do here for families and for children. So if you like that adult experience, if you're looking for more of a mature crowd, uh, this is definitely the place to stay in Las Vegas. Thirdly, this is an exceptional hotel for Vegas first timers, rookies, newbies. I can't tell you how many people I talked to and they said it's their first time in Las Vegas and they're staying at the Flamingo. I think it's because this place carries so much weight in its brand name, it has such a cool and rich history, and plus it is an affordable hotel and one of the best locations in Las Vegas. If you're coming to Vegas and you don't know a lot about the city, you can pretty much aim blindly, come to the Flamingo, and have a good time. So wrapping things up, how do I rate the Flamingo? I'm gonna rate the Flamingo a two. Now remember, that is not a bad score. I only stay at the best hotels and pit them against each other. The Flamingo is a great property, but compared to the other Vegas properties, it does pale a little bit in comparison. This place is not gonna wow you with its luxury, its modern touches, its size, or even its options of things to do. But if you're looking for one of the most legendary properties in Las Vegas, in one of the best locations, with one of the best pools, for one of the best prices, you really can't go wrong with the Flamingo Las Vegas.